Hey everyone and welcome to another episode about the uh, LEGO Train Vintage Town video that I'm working on. Um, I'm now in the process of rebuilding all the trains and as you can see this train has still 9 volt motors. And that's because I use the 9 volt uh, system normally. But I want to make everything original so uh, these 9 volt motors have to go and I have to put 12 volt motors underneath the locomotive. Furthermore, all the wagons of this type of train, which is I believe seven in total, they have interior lighting with LEDs. Well, I can't use that obviously in this video. I can't obviously not use it, but I don't want to completely remove it either because it takes a lot of time to build it in. So what I did is I just put it a bit on the uh, bottom of the uh, wagon and I don't know if you can see it a bit. Furthermore, there's a bit extra wire but you can't see it coming out. Yeah, a bit, but that's no problem because there will be another wagon. So, um, and when you look at it like this, from the camera position or like that, whatever, you can't see the wires and that's, th that's the goal. Um, next to that, uh, you see also that this wagon has still the uh, nine volt type wheels underneath it. I use them because they have really less friction than the uh, friction than the 12 volt wheels so um, what I need to do also with all the wagons is change the wheel type and uh, make them all original again so a uh, lot of work so I'm gonna continue um, furthermore I'd like to show you yeah this for example I bought some base plates of all the road because I didn't have enough and um, well obviously these are yellowed and you can see the difference very well between the ones that I um, treated with peroxide and the ones that I just received. So um, I need to treat all these base plates that you see here also with peroxide. Next to that I forgot one set and that's the set that you see here. And um, obviously it needs to be there, it's a 12 volt train set, come on. But I forgot it to treat it with peroxide. So there are some yellow part parts also on this set. So um, I hope now that the sun will shine someday. Because let's have a look at the weather now. Yeah, it's like that. It's uh, very cloudy. There are some blue spots here and there. But um, it starts raining very soon. So uh, welcome to the Netherlands uh, in autumn. It rains a lot and um, that's not something I need right now. I just need a day with sunshine that I can uh, treat these base plates and uh, the, the bricks that I have left with. So uh, let's hope for the best that in the upcoming weeks there will be a nice day of sun, sunny shine weather, sunshine weather. Otherwise, um, I don't know if the sun is still strong enough in November because then the sun is very, very low, so less uh, radiation coming off and uh, that's what you need for uh, for the bricks to turn uh, white and uh, light gray again um, yeah that's about it i built also this station that you see here it's now um, i modified it a bit i make made it a double track instead of a single track since it uh, has original two platforms so i made the bridge a bit wider furthermore there's also the other station of course i'm gonna put lighting inside yeah, I can show you that. I have the lights right here. Here are the lights. It's, uh, I believe I have something like 50 blocks of these lights. It's amazing how much <laughs> I have of them. And uh, they all, all work just fine. I all tested them. So 30 years old, 40 years old, and they're still working. And furthermore, I got a lot of wires and a lot of connectors. But the wires, they're probably too short. So. I'm going to use custom wires, which are light gray, but not entirely the same color, but uh, it'll, uh, it'll uh, do the trick, I believe. So um, yeah, that's it for now for this update. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Like the video if you like what you see. If you have any questions, please let me know. Leave a comment. I always like to uh, read the comments and uh, see you next time. Bye.